How else do we create beloved community? And we really want to walk away from this life without doing that. How else do we do it other than bringing the carrier wave of love, surrendering to it and bringing it into the world, letting there be light because of that, the light that's created out of that love, bringing that carrier wave into the waters of consciousness, into the deep, well, on the face of the water so that it may penetrate the deep of the human heart so that there can be illumination, so that there can be a heaven, and so that the waters can be gathered together under that heaven. And I rather dare say that most of us in this call, in this service, believe somewhere deep in our heart that it's impossible because we've lived a life up to this point where it hasn't happened for the most part, where there's been glimpses of it, but then we've acclimated to the waters being dispersed all over the place. And so we've come to believe that that's normal. And then we try to make life work and we even try to be spiritual on that basis. As someone said, folks, this ain't normal. And even though it's uncommon in our culture for the waters to come together, to be gathered together except and certain times, unusual times of emergency or, or great stress or great need. We are meant to live in beloved community where the waters have gathered together. And there are things that are possible when our waters are gathered together in beloved community with one heart, following one way of love. There are things that can happen that cannot happen and will not happen any other way. And we've been told that it's dangerous to be in beloved community, that we should be isolated, fend for ourselves. And yes, we need to look after ourselves because if we don't, who will? So that's true. And yet, there is a wise and intelligent way to create beloved community. And we are doing that 